Hi guys, today I will present you with a video which is more a promotional one, but I like the feature which I'm going to demonstrate so much that I thought make a short video about it and um, what we will calculate is of some interest to many folks I think, so let's get right into it. I have another setup here because I have an old Roland uh, video mixer, HD video switcher, V1HD is, it, uh, is its name. And um, what I need now are two pictures without any um, distorted aspect ratio, you know. So the only way to achieve this is that I move the mixer lever right up to this place here. And what you see on the edge of uh, this web page is, isn't dust, it's the, um, the mixer effect, you know. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, I wanted to talk about simple linear regression and I have uh, found a good example on the net. There are several uh, examples and the first one is this. We see the data points here and uh, we have the table here which we have to enter now. And um, first thing to do is that we double press shift in order to get the clear menu and here I clear now the sigma data points. Okay, that's, this was step one. Next thing is to enter these uh, data points here. And since we are on an RPN machine, we have to put in uh, Y first. So the lower uh, row here has to be entered first and then the X. So let's get started. 40, enter 5, Sigma. Now we have the first data point. 120 and 7, 120, 7, sigma plus, 180, enter, 12, sigma plus, our third data point, 200, and, oops, 210, 16 and 240 and 20. So now we have our set of data. Double shift and plot here. And we go right into the regression menu. And then we go into model. And here we have several correlation methods, I would call it. We can uh, look after a linear uh, regression, a parabolic one, which I have checked here, but you can, of course, remove this or set it again and for the fun of exploring it I didn't test it we try the hyperbolic one I think that this is what hype means here okay so we have our data we have uh, the linear model the hyperbolic model I hope I'm correct with this. And we have, oops, 
is chosen a logarithmic model but I wanted to have the parabolic one okay doesn't play a big role let's just see what the outcome will be so assess so the first thing we see looks quite good I press zoom so we have a better overview on the function and um, when I look at the website it's exactly what they have calculated y has the value of 11.5 this is a zero here on the c47 and the second value is 12.2 12 and this is exactly what we have here also so that's quite nice that's easy you have your graph which you can zoom in and zoom out so when you hear zoom in now that's a zoom out now we have a zoom in so it cycles through the zoom stages right okay so next fit brings us to the next model this is a logarithmic curve and also here we can of course have a look at the bigger picture next fit is hyperbolic doesn't fit very good I think very well sorry my English that's a nice graph I think but uh, it doesn't help us any further of course you always have to know uh, which model matches reality right so this looks not very adequate next fit is parabolic and also here we have a nice overview and we have all the necessary parameters of this function yeah this is all I wanted to show and um, yeah show, show me other calculators which can do this right so I like it very much and uh, well done to the developer team so see you next time then. Bye bye.